more than all. Yeah, the birds are up. Sleaford, just shy of 75 mile. They got held over yesterday through uh, unsuitable weather. I have seen on Facebook that uh, quite a lot, quite a lot of organisations had a bit of a stinker. So yeah, fair play, Andrew. I've well done keeping hold of them. But uh, yeah, we sent uh, 21 youngins, just a few old hens for next two weeks' time with a old hens national. Yeah, it's just hope they sort of got a bit of food, got a bit of drink on the whole lorry last yesterday. But I might expect some fireworks. You know, we didn't have them out all week through personal sort of reasons. Yeah, we didn't, no training, no loft fly. But to be honest with you, they handled sort of better than we thought. Thought they were going to. Excuse it if I get a few of my words muddled up. I haven't had much sleep the last few nights, giving up smoking. Weird fucking dreams. <laughs> last night I had dreams of human sized spiders stalking me all night. I'd wake up, they'd go back into the same dream. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe two hours, hour and a half, two hours, hour and 40, who knows with holdovers, it's sort of a bit of a free for all and as anyone's really, there's all the preparations out the window, you know the feed and preparation, yeah just glad they ain't been brought back you know, and just sort of, we've got a race anyway, uh, we didn't pull nothing, with them not being out, obviously. Just about numbers, getting them home now. One more race next week. I'm sort of glad to close the traps, close the doors, let them come through the malt. And be finished for the season. Yeah, I see Saxon Valley had a bit of a stinker. Whew. Norwich Fed, they had a bit of a, bit of a tough race. But I think they're working in today, so I've been seeing. Well done, Scott and Kev. Great, great, great racing. Uh, well done, Jimmy, last week, top in the open. Well done, Lee. Good, another good fly. We finished seventh club, eighteenth open. So we're well happy with that. We won the safe Norfolk club with Scruff. Yeah, the, both our A rings in the Futurity race. They won near on a grand between them. But obviously, we had to split. First pigeon 50 50 with Darnie Spruce. Yeah, it'd be it's still nice to get a little bit of a draw. But yeah, I'll bring you back in a little while. I'll probably bring you back at 60 mile an hour. <laughs> That's a bit optimistic, but I don't think they'll be doing 60 mile an hour. But I'll start recording at that anyway. Boy looks at this wind, that's gonna, that's a dead safe. Maybe a little bit of east in it, a little bit of safe, you know, it's more safe than east. But uh, who cares anyway, 75 mile race in it, you know, I should, you know, shouldn't be losing pigeons now, so she having all the races. Yeah, I'll stop rumbling on, you know. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a little while, much love. Oh, what a strange sky, there ain't nothing in the sky. No woodies, no rooks. One. It's even silent. <laughs> even the pigeons are silent. Nothing, no woodies, no doves. Gulls, and it's normally alive here. It's very strange. Let's just hope. Let's just hope they come. I wonder if this was down at the bad racing yesterday. A lot, of, lot, of, lot of organisations had a proper smash. Literally, even kites are here. Normally here. weird it's quite spooky actually when the old woman ain't talking you know silent even she's a bit even she's a bit quiet which is strange <laughs> 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 
<laughs> now I go. But go yeah, that's pretty pretty iffy. Where I'd be back in the country, so you can imagine the bird bird life. I'd normally sit up in this big tree here as well, uh, singing away. You know, the goldies and but nothing. Well, well, it is what it is. At least we got a race. <laughs> Might not be saying that later. Right, that's nearly 60 mile an hour now. Right, I'm just going to pause it for a bit and, uh, yeah, maybe bring it back in a little while. I'm, I, I know I'm talking quiet, I know. <laughs> that might change. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I'll bring it back in a little while. About five minutes, I'll start recording. I just want to show you the sky, proper weird. Right, that's just shy of an hour and a half now. I'm going to leave that rolling. Got the drop already. I don't think they're going to be out, be about all this time, but you never know. They hold line. But going on yesterday's race with the knowledge fed, I think they're down to sort of like 30, 30 mile an hour for some reason. But the sky is absolutely dead. There's nothing up there. Sleaford is just shy of 75 miles to us. And 60 mile an hour would have been 1 hour 15. And it's now 1 hour 30. Even them couple of dolls up there, Charles. Look at them saying that. Strange, strange day. Got more things in the sky now than ever it was. Yeah, we know. There's a couple of dolls, isn't it? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a woody. Fucking hell. Let's see, not to get sight. It looked like that was going to fold up. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Nice. Come on. They come out of the west, didn't they? Come on, Sam. Keep your eyes peeled, sir. Come 
Spot that side. Come on, yeah. Come on. Oh, right, then first fork came, that don't matter. Three. Come on. Might be with that trap. Oh, no, it isn't. It? They're going through the molt hard. Come on. See that sort of coming out of there. Should you see it on there? Yeah, no. Poxy droppers. Yeah, I'll have a two look. Come on! And another one. Come on! That's Regina. Come on! Oh nice. Nice trap. Come on, girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. It's going to be a tussle up with the boys out to the west again in the club. trap Can't go on, bro. Like, right, can I for a trap? I ain't even checked what's what yet. I ain't even checked what's numbers on the clock. <laughs> yeah, I've checked. I've made sure of that, but I didn't check the ring numbers. I know her youngins. And obviously, yeah, look at this coming in. Oh, I just missed. Come on. It's rough. No, that's my breed. Oh, look at these, look. Come on. First three on the trap, I threw Big Fraser. The first one's off Rude Ruse, across uh, Dark Fraser. The next one, the Quad 7, he's direct off Big Fraser on the 24 hen. 
And the third pigeon is another grand, grandchild of Big Fraser. When paired, obviously, with the bulks again. Yeah. Come on. That coming in. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 what a trap. <clears throat> that went to Berwick. That's off of uh, CJ Angel and the Lake Red Cock. What a trap. <laughs> you caught it on there, yeah? Nice. Oops. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Squaff is amongst them as well. And uh, it's Bundy's pigeon as well. I think that was the fourth one that Bundy's was. I feel like the clouds are really low. Yeah, it is low, isn't it? Cool. Look at this coming in, look. Mm. Cool, as black as you're at. <sighs> well, we ain't had a smash. We ain't had a smash, so I think I've got to eat a lot of humble pie. Yeah, I had a little whinge and a moan yesterday, but uh, once again, I'll take me out off to you, Andrew. If you're watching, fair play, mate. And I'll eat humble pie. Well played. Well played. Keep your eyes peeled, Gov. Look at that little lot going through there. I reckon they're going down to cash now. <clears throat> there must have been like eight pigeons there. They were motoring. <sighs> was a bit of a relief go out of yesterday, innit? Uh, seeing all them organisations having yeah. a smash. Fuck me. They were on a mission, weren't they? <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> oh, then. <sighs> uh, I don't know, I ain't checked there. So. Still quite a bit to come, I think. Yeah. Well done, my little babies. Well done, all your babies. It's just all about numbers, James. Now, over these last couple of races, get them on. Good manga. Where'd they come from? What, what, what's that then? Because I can see them all. They roared through, I think. They come out of the safe. Well, safe west. Come on. Poor little 
was like the left other bitch that. Fucking see. <laughs> they look like old streeters, do they? They feed my chip. <laughs> yeah. Ew, brother. All right, I'm going to stop recording now. Plenty, plenty, plenty of action. Yeah. Well, they come a lot better than I thought they were going to. So, yeah. So, we are Mr. Daniels, and I do apologise. Now, I'll put my hands up. You got it right again. Fair play. I uh, just want to say thank you to all my subs. You know, the same names pop up week in, week out. You know, comment and like in the video. You know, the more comments and likes we get, the more the more the videos sort of get pushed out to more people, more countries. But yeah, we thank you ever so much. And if you like the video, can you hit the like, please? And if you ain't subbed, hit the sub. And uh, yeah, drop us a comment, even if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Anyway, much love. You all take care. And I'll bring you back with a result a bit later. And... Uh, Little video of the first sort of four or five birds. Yeah, and another one. Come on, that's an old hen. I know, it's mad, isn't it? But yeah, I'm making the switch off. You take care, thank you ever so much for watching. Much love. Uh, happy days. We were first, second, third, and fourth club. And I just worked out the velocities. We would have took the first 10 in the club if it weren't for the four bird rule. Here's the winner. And he, he's direct from Ruby Roos when paired to the Dark Fraser. What you doing, mate? Fucking hell. Yeah, Ruby Roos and Dark Fraser. And Dark Fraser's a direct son of Big Fraser. And uh, Ruby Roos, yeah, well, she's uh, she's off a good great cop called uh, Longneck for Mickey B. But yeah, this cop there, he's been coming really well. Scored a few prizes. Yeah, today he's on it. So yeah, first club for him now. Happy days. Let's go and get you another one. There he is. He's been coming really well as well. It's a young cop we call the Quad Seven because he's zero seven 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 seven, and he is direct from Big Fraser when paired to Twenty Four Hen, and Twenty Four Hen is a full sister to Ruby Roos, the mother. The mother of uh, a winner today. She's also through a pigeon called Longneck. So yeah, our Longneck family. Yeah, they're winning and then they're producing the goods. But yeah, he's a stunning cock. He is. He's going to be like his dad, Big Fraser. Happy days. Get yeah, another one. There he is. Third club today. Only beat the two loft mates. And he is actually inbred Big Fraser. And the mother to this, this cock, 68 cock, is the tranny. And the shire is a direct son of Big Fraser, who won us the first young bird race last year. So yeah, Big Fraser's just make an impact. So yeah, this, this, this little cock there is off the tranny. And direct son of Big Fraser and tranny She's a granddaughter of Big Fraser. So yeah, he's a cracking little cock. Small apple body pigeon. Great personality like his mother. So yeah, let's get that third one. Fourth one. Right, this little hen, she's been coming great for us, she has. She was actually a gift pigeon from James Burroughs. From our old blood, the Golden Bollocks blood. James Bond from Gabby Van Der Beel. And yeah, she's a uh, she's fourth club, only beaten by three loft mates. And she's she's a little trier. She's really coming really well. She went to Berwick last last week as well. But yeah, cracking little pigeon, great little asset to the hen team next year. So yeah, fair play, James. Well done, mate. Happy days. And uh, yeah, like I said a minute ago. Just worked out the velocities. We would have took the first 10 in the club. We only sent 21 young'uns. 
So yeah, can't be more up here. They really put it in. Considering they've even been at the loft all week as well, for personal reasons. No training, no loft fly. But sometimes, you know, it does them the world of good. They need a rest now and again. They're babies end of the day. They're not robots. We sort of proved that today. So yeah, really, really happy with her performance. Also, Regina took top spot again in the, the any age race. Can't claim that as a win though, do you know what I mean? It's against a few pigeons, people who are just sending just to keep them fit, you know, for Dunbar, Old Hens National. But yeah, she was top of the tree. She won that by about 90 yard as well, Regina. That's three top spots she took now in the NH races. Can't call them a win. They're just, they're kind of training races really, but she's, she beat the old ones in the club. So, but yeah, cracking pigeon. Fair play, James. Anyway, just like to say thank you ever so much for all my subs. You know, for keeping loyal, keeping the channel going, liking, commenting. Thank you very much, because without you, you know, we wouldn't even have a channel. So, yeah, you all take care now, and uh, much love. Happy days. First four, four bird rule. We would have took the first ten if it weren't for the four bird rule. Well out in front as well, look. Eight kilometre lead on the next loft, our first pigeon and second pigeon. Yeah. Happy days.